Good happy Saturday morning, September 5th, 2015. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started. First up, Amber Alert issued for four-year-old Vermont girl, cancelled. An Amber Alert issued for Kil Kili Kilia Hardy, a four-year-old Vermont girl last seen at the Faystone residence of her biological grandmother, Dawn Hitchardson, has been lifted. Police say they located Hitcherson in New York after she fled Vermont with her boyfriend, Joel Ross Fall. Brady releases statement day after deflate gate suspension overturned. One day after his four-game suspension was overturned in court, New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady released a statement on his Facebook page. Police investigate deadly accident in Claremont. Claremont police said one person died and another was hospitalized with life-threatening injuries after a collision with a van Friday night. Festival celebrates 50th anniversary of UFO sighting. The town of Exeter is hosting its annual UFO festival this weekend. The event is a bid drawn for those who believe in UFOs and those who don't. Exeter celebrates 50th anniversary of notable UFO sighting. They say a lightning strike started a fire in Exeter, New Hampshire Town Hall that caused the cancellation of a UFO festival the first year. It was hosted by the local Kawans Club. That's what they say anyway. State police plan strict traffic enforcement over holiday weekend. More than 500,000 tourists are expected to take adventure of the great weather in New Hampshire over the long holiday weekend. But state police have warned of strict enforcement on the highways. State police said they won't tolerate speeding. In one case, a 29-year-old man from Manchester was clocked going more than twice the speed limit. That's reckless driving. Observerly, we are not going to tolerate that. It's not safe for the public. It's not safe for the people operating that way. New Hampshire State Trooper Daniel Belladasser said. Presidential candidate visits New Hampshire during Labor Day weekend. 
Presidential candidates will be busy working the campaign trail over the Labor Day holiday weekend. Eight candidates are expected to visit New Hampshire voters over the next few days. GOP hit Clinton on eve of Woman for Hillary launch. Five top New Hampshire Republican women Friday criticized Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton as a divider on the eve of her visit to the state to launch a woman for Hillary coalition. Police, two motorcyclists traveled up to 108 miles per hour on I-93. Two motorcyclists who state troopers said were traveling at 108 miles per hour northbound on Interstate 93 in Hooksett Friday morning have been arrested. Man accused of driving 119 miles per hour on Everett Turnpike. A man accused of speeding down the northbound side of the Everett Turnpike was arrested Friday morning by state police. Merrimack man shot by police remains hospitalized. A Merrimack man remained hospitalized Friday a day after being shot by police officials said. Remains of Korean War veteran to return home. Next week, the remains of a Korean War veteran will be headed home more than six decades after he was declared missing in action. Funeral held for woman shot in Manchester. Family, friends, and co-workers of Denise Roberts gathered in a Manchester church Friday to remember a woman they said always had a smile on her face and was willing to help anyone. Nashua man accused of assaulting teen for months. A Nashua man is facing more than 30 charges after police said he abused and assaulted a 17-year-old girl over the course of several months. Bus loads of worry migrants, migrants arrive in Austria. Some Austrians cheered as bus loads of my grints pulled up on their border with hungry early Saturday and worry passengers clenching children steered toward them. That does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great Saturday. See you back here later. Goodbye.